Um, let's talk data infrastructure now. How can companies better prepare to leverage the full capabilities of GMI? I think that's a great question. Before diving into the nitty gritty details of infrastructure and tools, organizations should really understand you know, their business needs and how Gen AI or AI in general can help them, right? And then of course, once they've identified that, it's super critical to understand what tools, you know, data platforms, and even talent, like who can help uh, with the objective. And when it comes to infrastructure, I think, you know, there are basic IT infrastructure needs that every organization will require like storage compute and most leverage one or more hyperscalers, right? Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft for this. On top of that, I think it's super important for organizations to invest in a really seamless data and AI platform that can help them democratize their data as well as AI needs. And I think a lot of organizations are obviously getting their feet wet with AI. There are some with more resources that are actually pre-training AI models from scratch with their own enterprise context, right? Um, if I'm car company A, I want to make sure that if I'm building an LLM based chatbot, it's not going to recommend my competitors products to a customer that comes and chats, you know, with my chatbot, it's going to recommend my products. Um, and there are others that are leveraging OSS models that exist out there and fine tuning them. And, you know, there are many customers that are also using, uh, proprietary out of box models, right? And there are some that are very popular. We're well aware of them. Um, but I think irrespective of the path an organization takes, it's super important to pick a platform that's seamless and easy to use. And that fulfills, I think, the end-to-end -end life cycle of building a Gen AI or AI solution all the way from we've spoken today a ton about you know, clean data and bad data from being able to make data squeaky clean to being able to deploy ETL processes required to, you know, move data from one location to another, pre prepare it for further analysis, as well as, you know, being able to pre-train models, fine tune models, serve these models, monitor the quality of these models, uh, leverage RAG, re retrieval, augmented generation to combine LLMs with enterprise data. So, you know, what you're building really has that enterprise context and context of your customer data. I think all of that is super critical. And I think it, it, it's really important for organizations to invest in a platform that provides all of these capabilities in a seamless as well as cost-effective manner. Because at the end of the day, you really want your practitioners to focus on the business need and not be worrying about scale, performance, mm -hmm. and tooling. And it will be a case of different uh platforms will be more suitable for different businesses so it's not a case of just take the first one that comes yeah. along or hits the top of the google list you know yeah. actually think about what you really need to your business and get something that works for that exactly and i think there are lots of like disparate solutions that help with different pieces of the mm -hmm. of the you know life cycle required to prepare you know or create a, a gen ai solution and i think it really helps to consolidate like pick a platform that does and to and as much as possible. So again, there's a little bit less of that siloed yeah. uh, infrastructure in yeah. place. Yeah. And I would say, like, don't be don't be scared. Right, a lot of us made decisions, you know, immediately to take advantage of the opportunity that you know the market is telling us that we have to around Gen AI. And there's decisions that were made early on that might not be the best decision for your business. Yeah. I think it's okay to have like made a mistake, right? And invested in the wrong solution, one that isn't end to end, that doesn't consider everything you want to do throughout your entire AI life cycle. Like that's okay. And I think people should be more willing to sort of make incorrect decisions early on as we're sort of all figuring out what is best practice together. Well, you know, it could cost you way more in the long run to keep continue using the tool that's not right for you. Totally. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.